Hello Flosstube, it's Nicole. Welcome back to my channel. This is Flosstube number 27 and it is December uh, 18th, 2022. I had to think about it. We are a week away from Christmas and I'm here to share about my stitching. So this week um, we're going to do like a, a little recap. I'm going to talk about my planner progress. I uh, will show some stitching. I have no FFOs or whip. Well, I have whips. I have no FFOs or finishes this week. Lots of things in progress. Of course, this time of year is always crazy. There's always lots of last minute things. I am working on last minute gifts. And um, I do want you to know that I do put my floss tube up on Sundays, which next Sunday will be Christmas and there will be a floss tube. I will film it Friday edit it and then schedule it for Sunday. So um, I know not everyone will be able to watch that day or whatever, but I wanted to have something up for the Christmas, well, for my regular floss too, but also for the Christmas. Hopefully um, I will have some finishes. I, sh I should have some finishes to share there. I just have a few things I'm finishing up that I can't share quite yet. So I will be sharing those in that video. Um, Let's see, last week I asked if you wanted to see the quilted tree tutorial. I had an overwhelming yes. That is one of the presents I am finishing up. Um, I made them for my friends. We had a friend miss last Monday uh, where I gave those as gifts. However, I um, made some for myself they weren't all the way sewn. <laughs> like I had all the quilting done, I just needed to construct and and put them together. And I decided I had an extra set. I had enough extra trees to make my daughter a set for Christmas. So um, I finished those and it allowed me to be able to film. So I am editing that and it will go up on Monday the 19th. So definitely check out that video. Um, and I will show you from start to finish the construction and kind of just talk you through it. They're very, very easy if you have some sewing knowledge. I do know that I have seen some tutorials where there's no sew options, like you can glue the fabric together. Um, so that is an option as well if you aren't a sewer and there are lots and lots of ways to construct the trees. You don't have to quilt the fabric. Um, you can sew it and turn it inside out so there aren't any raw edges. I went for a little bit more of the rustic type look and I think I mentioned last week as those edges, you know, get used and touched and over time they will fray more, which is kind of what I'm looking for. Um, anyway, that video will be up tomorrow so you can enjoy that. Um, probably before this goes up, but uh, or maybe at the same time, on my planning channel, I will have a link to it in the description down below. I will have my cross stitch planner setup video. It is the start of the setup. I will be sharing it during my weekly floss tubes. Um, and then at the end of the month, I will show like flip throughs and things on my planning channel just to show you how I'm utilizing it. I know I talked about it last week and I shared a little bit about that. I will show you more this week. Um, really just kind of I, I've worked out a lot of it. I'm sure it will be a work in progress. It always is, but I'm really excited about it. I didn't get as much stitching, I think, as I wanted to do this week done simply because I did spend a lot of time planning. I didn't want to wait till the very last minute. I really want to start 2023 with a very good foundation for my plan for my planning. Um, I don't normally participate in this, uh, the one little word thing every year. I, I kind of think about it. I never like write it down. I never make it, um, I, n I don't make it a priority, but I, this year I decided, um, I'm not like going <laughs> to be really big about it, but my, my word is intention. And for me, that does include planning. I want to be very intentional with how I choose to spend my time, what I work on and all of that good stuff. And I would really love for next December, December, 2023, to be able to have a planner where I have pages where these are the projects I finished because I'm gonna have a finished section in my planner. And I think it will be really fun and much easier to go to that section in my planner 
and pull those projects from my house and do a whip parade at the end of 2023. So that is my big plan, my big goal, I think, or even a half year, you know, parade, um, being able to maybe in June say, here's where we're at, here's what I've worked on. For me, it's a very tangible, when the project is in the project bag, it can kind of just disappear. <laughs> out of sight, out of mind. The planner is, I don't have to go through a million bags. I can go to that section in my planner and say, these are my Christmas whips because that's how I'm breaking mine down. I'm a seasonal stitcher. I know I'm a seasonal stitcher. I have a couple of everyday type projects that I am going to be doing. Well, I've started. Uh, sh the Shine On Sampler is one. Um, that will be an, an kind of all year type project or an everyday type project, which is great and fine. Um, and that will have its own section. But I want to, when it's time to stitch Valentine's Day, I want to go, or love, I want to go to my, my February, well, it's not gonna be called February, it'll be called Valentine's. I wanna go to that section and see what my whips are. When I, next fall, when I get to the Christmas season stitching, and I'm ready to start stitching Christmas, what was I working on? Um, kind of that kind of, so I can look and see what I have before I add to it. Um, same goes for like Halloween. I had a lot of Halloween and fall whips, and I think it's just going to really work to keep me organized, and I'm excited about it. I, I've seen um, a lot of stitchers are very much planning this year, so I'm excited about that, and I'm excited to, I, I been, I've been telling you guys for months that I would be back to my planning channel because I know a lot of you really, really love that. Um, I do too, and I just had not done it. So thank you guys for all the love and support on that channel. Uh, for any of you who watch that, I know I have some just strict planners, uh, but who watched my first video last week, I have a lot of content this week. I have filmed a ton. Um, I've edited a couple of them. I have more to edit. So I'm very, very excited about that, just in general. So yes, I've got my my cross stitch, my floss tube planning, but I also have, and my quilting planning, but I also have just my, my work load planning as well, and that will be shared. I have set up videos for both cross stitch planner and then just like my regular planning that will be coming here before the first of the year. Uh, you know, I kind of don't like the phrase new year, new start. I kind of feel like you should start new wherever you're at. So I, even though very much it kind of feels that way, because it's easy to do at the end of the year when you're looking forward to that next year. I really have, so my intention, my word, my one little word of the year, whatever, um, I, my intention, and I want to be very intentional about this, is to have a full planner at the end of the year. If I miss a week or something, that's okay, but don't let it turn into eight months <laughs> like I have in the past. It is helps keep me on track. I found this week having my planner, being able to look at it, being, being able to write in it, kind of finishing up, you know, the end of my day, writing what I stitched on. It was really rewarding to look back at over the week. And I'll show it here. I obviously have more to, to fill in um, as it is the last day of the planning week. I know Sunday is often considered the first day of the week. I kind of consider it part of the previous week. Um, planner speak usually goes Monday to Sunday. And so that's kind of how I've looked at it. So um, I will be sharing that. I guess, let's see a little bit about what's going on. Not a lot. I had a really big work week last week, so I had a lot of work. I had Friendmas with a couple of friends. We had the best time. I will share, oh, there, one of them is a stitcher, but the other one is not a cross stitcher. So, but we worked on some paper crafting things, and then we did work on a felt project. Um, we all worked on our own felt projects. They are so much more successful than I am. I have not got back to it, and I need to have for ornaments um, as gifts. So uh, hopefully I get those done this week. I don't even have the others die cut, but I will show you my progress. I'm really excited about it. Um, Ethan finished out the semester. He passed all of his classes. That was excellent. Uh, let me see. I bought all of the stuff. I So I don't do much holiday baking anymore. I used to. I have let go of a lot of the 
things I have to do for the holidays. Um, the last few years and I've been happier. I don't want to make a bunch of candy. I don't want to make a bunch of cookies. Um, and I know a lot of people love it. I want to stitch. I want to quilt. I I want to make a few things. I bought stuff to make a few things. I just don't go all, all out crazy. A, I don't eat any of it and I'm not eating any of it. Um, I have gone back on a low carb <laughs> uh, lifestyle. It's what works best for me. It's when I feel the best. I already know that because when I eat too many carbs, I do not feel good. When I eat too much sugar, I don't feel well. Uh, so I, I don't eat it. Um, Peyton made a bunch and she will bring some of it, I'm sure. I just don't feel the need to make a bunch of that anymore. And Ethan is the only one who lives here and he is not a huge candy or sweets person. So he eats a like he likes chips and crackers and stuff like that. And so the, I'm making his one favorite thing, which are the hugs, which are the pretzels with the Hershey Kiss and then M&Ms in them. That's his favorite thing. So I'll make those. I've already made them once this season. So I just, I, I kind of let that go. Um, and I'm so much happier for it. So I, that's my, my big, um, I don't want to really say advice, but if you're struggling and you're trying to fit a whole bunch of stuff in, um, try to take away something that doesn't bring you joy. It should be a joyous season. I have really been in, I have been enjoying it. You know, there's work and stuff, but when I'm, when I'm finished with work, I just try to, to do things that I enjoy. We've been watching Christmas movies. I stitch while I watch the Christmas movies um, spending time with friends. So that, that's just my advice. And of course, if you enjoy those things, I'm not saying don't do them. I'm just saying, try to take away some of the things you don't enjoy. One of the other things that I quit doing here a couple years ago was, um, sending out holiday cards to everyone. Um, I know <laughs> I love getting holiday cards and I do have a lot of holiday cards. So I do send some, I just, decided that it doesn't bring me um, huge amounts of joy. It's a lot of work and I send out a lot of cards anyway for other things and so I just kind of let that go at this time of the year and I find myself a lot happier. I find other times of the year to send out things or if they don't, and the, the Christmas ones I do send out, if they don't make it before Christmas, that's okay. Um, they may come the week after or even the first week of January, and that is okay too. So um, let's see. Uh, we're going to do a tiny bit of q and I'll show you my whips. I'm going to talk to you about my planning. I want to talk about a lot of you did contact me for the giveaways, but I still have quite a few unclaimed actually. I have about six still unclaimed from the past floss tubes. I have some, I have a lot of happy mail. Some of it is probably more for my, my card making. I don't really know though, because it's the same PO box for, for both. I'm not going to get two PO boxes. So I am going to just kind of show all the cards I received because I love them. And that way, after I show them, I can go hang them on my mantle. Um, for next week, so I know I had several questions that wanted to see the house decorated. I am going to take photos and insert them into my Christmas video, my Christmas floss tube next week. I will share any of the Christmas finishes I get done. I hope I have, I hope I have three at least done or four, three or four done next week. I'm close or getting close. Um, I am going to talk to you about my Christmas start this week. I was trying to think what I have written on here. I should just look at my list. I have a little bit of haul. I'm going to talk to you about my what I'm going to do for my Christmas start. And then in my Christmas floss tube next week, I'm going to talk to you about the 12 by 12. I know that um, Chantal's talking about it talked about it and I found a new floss tuber just from listening to her and Jessica the Sweetwater Stitcher talk about it um and then the new floss the new to me floss tuber um is doing this with another popular floss tuber um I think I can't remember I'll put it in the description and I'll give links to the video where they talk about it but it basically is 
you start 12 new uh, projects by midnight. So you do one an hour from 12 noon to 12 midnight. And they're doing it a couple different ways because that sounds like absolute crazy, but super fun. I mean, it is, that's fun. As cross stitchers, we want to do all the projects. Um, so one of the gals is doing 12 new starts, 12 by 12. The other gal is going to do, I believe, work on 12 whips. So just a different whip that she has in her collection uh, by midnight from 12 to 12. So, um, and you can do any combination you want. They have hashtags. I will look them up because I can't remember them. I will put it here on the screen um, so you can use it if you want to do the same thing. I am going to participate that I don't do anything for New Year's. I, ne I never have. I that I it's my evening in and I love it. I usually just do something fun that I want to do something crafty. So this will be nothing different other than um, I'm going to work on 12 projects. I decided um, I don't want to start 12 new projects. I don't think I mean, that could change by next week, but I will have those in my video for you next week. So you know what I'm going to start, but I'm going to do half and half. I'm going to do six new starts and I'm going to work on six whips. I thought that would be a very nice combination. I am going to do a planner spread for it or a, at least a filler sheet or something where I list them out and I'm going to show you all of them. I'm going to have them all prepped and all ready to go uh, in my next floss tube for you. And then I will also tell you what my New Year's Day start will be. It's the gift I got, uh, my snow, the snowman chart I got for my birthday from... So um, here that I shared a couple weeks ago, so I will be, uh, that will be my New Year's Day start. So that will be separate, but I will have all of that to share with you next week. It is probably going to be a, a big one next week. I'm excited about that. Okay, let's get started because I've talked forever. Sorry, you guys. Uh, Q&A, Shelly says, what typewriter are you using? So the typewriter is for my planning, which I shared. It's a We Are Memory Keepers typewriter, and I will share the link down below. Uh, Rita says, do you happen to use a needle threader? And then she wants to know, she's flying um, to London and wants to cross-stitch on the plane, and can I recommend a portable light to take with you on the plane? Um, I don't use a needle threader. I have one I got in a little needle book that I shared here quite a while ago and I probably should use it more. If you guys have a needle threader you like, would you drop me a comment and let me know? I would love to maybe share that next week in the video. As far as the portable light, I know I love the Halo Go. So that is what I would recommend. I know some of you have not had good luck with it. I have had very, very good luck with mine. I think it's just kind of hit or miss. But I do know that Kimberly at Fat Quarter Shop uses the Halo Go when she flies and loves it and recommends it. I personally have not cross-stitched on a plane. I haven't been on a plane in like two years, two and a half years. Um, so, and I need to go somewhere really bad. It isn't for any other reason. I just haven't gone anywhere. Um, I will take my Halo Go when I fly. So I just kind of gave her that advice too, is that I heard Kimberly Jolly at Fat Quarter Shop say that that's what she takes on the plane. That is it this week. Let's go into whips. So the first whip I'm going to share is from my friend Miss. We worked on some felt stitching. Sorry for that noise. And I had mentioned the Poshta designed felt stitching dies or the stitching dies for felt. And so I started making this is a little uh, hat. I have stitched everything. I have not stitched this yet because I want to make a yarn pom-pom for the top. I think it'll be really cute, but I have to go buy some yarn. I don't have any the right color. So uh, this is the front. I mean, I love it. It's super cute. This is obviously Peyton's. And I put, I stitched her monogram on the back and everyone will get one. Her fiance will get one and then my boys will get, get one. I like to do a felt ornament for them every year. And so um, I should have those to share with you guys next week too. I am going to, our stockings aren't monogrammed, so I like to make this and then hang it on the hook with their stocking and it kind of lets everybody know which stocking is which, if you can't guess, I guess, <laughs> whatever. But um, I think it'll be really, really cute. I love these. There's lots of different designs you can do on here and I will link to Poshta Design down below if you're interested. 
or even interested in maybe making some stuff for next year. So I know that we have a like a little, my friend group has a little, st we, we caught, well, we were just talking and then I said something that we should be Stitchers Anonymous. So they've named our, our uh, text group Stitchers Anonymous, but the gal, uh, Lizzie, who ha owns Pasta Design, we decided we needed a certain die and one of the other girls knows her really well and she messaged her and she said she would make it. So uh, if that kind of comes to pass, I will share because I'm really, really excited about a project that we all think we're going to do for next year. Anyway, it was really fun. I will thread some string in it to make it an ornament that she can hang on the tree. I love felt ornaments. I did light, lightly stuff it. I maybe didn't do my nicest stitching job, but we all worked on felt ornaments. My friend Karen actually gave me one. I should have got it and brought it in here. Uh, a mitten ornament so that's hanging on my red and wh white tree I absolutely love it let me go grab it for you guys okay so this is the ornament that Karen made for me she also made one for Lori um, she obviously put my monogram on the back isn't it cute so so fun so these are absolutely delightful and so, very very fun to stitch so wanted to share that that's my first whip Okay, so my focus pieces last week, I really only worked on the one focus piece and then I pulled out another whip, but I made some really good progress. I, like I said, I had a lot of work stuff going on. I worked on planning and organizing my planning and all of that. So I really just picked up something I already had going on. My first focus piece is still the Cherry Hill Stitchery Merry Christmas. And I would love to get this done this year, so I'm working hard on it. And here is my progress. Um, I think all I had to show you last week was maybe the snowman hat and the start of the head. I finished his body. I have bad news for that. Well, I fixed it now, so it's not bad news anymore. So I actually spent one evening doing the outline, and it didn't meet up. And unfortunately, I had started the outline here and worked my way over here when I realized it didn't meet up. The mistake was right here. I had to rip it all out. I was so ticked. I probably could have tried to make it work, but I decided I would not be happy with that, so I went ahead and ripped it out and started restitching. I only have white fill-in to do here, and I'm just saving that because that's kind of a mindless task. I did do most of the birdhouse, started the bottom of the ice skates, um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to white, like outline with white the snow that's right here so that that can just be a fill in as well. Uh, the birdhouse is going together super, super fast. The little bird. I love the snowman's face. It does say Merry Christmas underneath. I considered not adding it and doing more of a square-ish finish, but I do think I'm going to because I really want to finish it on that sled. Uh, from Chantal's 141 design and I, it will fit better with the Merry Christmas. So I am going to go ahead and do it but, and it is very Christmassy. I have so, some snowman charts that are very wintry. Those were gonna, are going to be my January stitches, probably things I start by for the 12 by 12 to be honest. So I'm really happy with this. This would really just take a few hours to finish up. So I want to get this finished. I want to get it put on the backer and share it with you next week so that I can at least enjoy it for a week or so before all the Christmas comes down. So hopefully, cheer me on. I will try to maybe even share some progress on Instagram. I've done a terrible job sharing stitching on Instagram. I need to get back to being better about that. So that's Cherry Hill Stitchery. Merry Christmas. I love love her snowman charts. I did not work on my ornament that I'm doing on 36 count. I think I needed a little break. I like the 36 count. It's just very, very new to me. And I needed something that was a little bit more user friendly. I, I guess I didn't even tell you guys. This is thir I should tell you what I'm stitching on. Let's get my planner out, shall we? Since I have all of that in here already. So I am stitching on 32 count platinum Lugana and I am not using any of the called for colors. I don't believe. I am using Weeks Dye Works and Onyx Emerald 
Turkish Red, Whitewash, Gray, and Mocha. I do have those colors listed in the description down below. And then the nose, the legs for the bird, and the beak for the bird are Classic Color Works Colonial Copper. So all um, Fancy Floss, Weeks Dye Works, and Cl um, Classic Color Works. This is why I have my planner. I don't have to dig in my bags for this information. I've put it all on here. Speaking of which, let's just go to my next page, shall we? Because I didn't use any of the call for for it either. All right, let's move this over here. And I think Chantal at 141 Design has new sleds in her shop. I have the one she had for Fat Quarter Shop and then she's reworked it. And she did a fantastic live Friday evening where she did a Christmas finish parade where she showed a lot of the finishes she's done with model stitcher stitching but she has two new sizes of sleds so I will link to her shop as well or to those um, items in her shop if they're up because I think they're fantastic finishing even for your January stitches um, I think they would be great for any like snowman type stitching okay my second whip I am working on Primrose Cottage Christmas Rules. I mentioned a couple floss tubes ago. I was very much inspired by Jessica, the Sweetwater Stitcher, when I saw that she was stitching this on black. And I thought, oh my gosh, that it totally pops. I've had this chart in my stash since last year, since 2021, when I went crazy for Primrose Cottage and bought so many charts. And so I pulled it out. I had no intention of doing this this year, but she really, really inspired me. So I used the scrap of fabric I had left over from our old fashioned sal. And I started stitching my Christmas rules on the 28 count uh, Jobelin fabric. I'm probably saying that wrong still. I am using my color. So here's what I did. You know, my floss keeper from Chantal had the floss from Old Fashioned on it already. Yeah, I decided to be lazy and I'm just using those same colors. I completely finished the Christmas rules up at the top and here's what I decided to do. I wasn't exactly sure how many are gonna fit on the backer and I did get it down this time to show you what I'm gonna put it on. And now I have a very good idea that I think only four of the sections are going to fit. So there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. there's eight. I think only four are going to fit on the backer, which is okay. I was already going to eliminate drink hot chocolate because my hot cocoa bar is in the basement and this is going to go upstairs in my kitchen. Um, and then I decided I could do build a snowman and sledding as like little pillows and use those anywhere. Um, the only one I'm super bummed, I don't think Believe is going to fit. So I am going to add Believe uh, maybe make a little pillow and tuck it in next to it, but I'll show you here my backer. One second. Sorry, I had a phone call. Okay, so I think only four of them are going to fit is, is where I believe I left this off. I think, even though I really wanted to add believe, I don't think it's going to fit. We'll kind of see. I'm, I'm almost certain. I'm going to show you the piece. So I mentioned that the spring shop at Hobby Lobby had this, and I bought it when it was like 70% off. It's this which I love. Yeah. Um, it is from the spring shop and it was originally $25. Like I said, I got it 50% or 70% off because I bought it super, super cheap. What I love is it's two sided. So you really could put something else on the other side, but it's red and I couldn't quite figure out why this was in the spring shop. Maybe it was the spring summer shop. You think? I don't know. Anyway, I want to put this on here. So I'm really, that's my, what I'm working towards here. Let's just do a little faux. Obviously it's going to be much nicer than this to show you kind of, isn't it going to be cute? It's going to sit up high, but I'm almost certain because I've just started the, um, the joy part. What is it? Hold on. Of course I can't find it when I... Let's just look. Spread Joy. I knew it wasn't Choose Joy because I wouldn't stitch that. I don't like Choose Joy. <laughs> um, 
So Choose Joy is going to go right here. I don't think Believe will fit, but I think it's going to be really cute. I'll decorate it all up. I'm going to get this finished, so I will have this to share with you next week. I will tell you, just looking at this, see how the white pops on the black for the text. I had started stitching Deck the Halls uh, with green and red, and I'm glad I only did a tiny bit. And I'm only doing, so here was what my plan. I was stitching down this side or stitching enough to get me to the sections so that I could see what all was going to fit. And I'm glad I didn't stitch a lot because I'm gonna unpick all of this. It's all gonna be in white. The white text pops and then the little icons and things can all be in the color. But I feel like it just shows up so much better and it's gonna be, it's up high, it's up on top of my cabinets is where this sits. So the white is definitely going to show up. But that's kind of where I am. That is the piece I bought that I'm excited to use. I think it's going to be super cute. Any of the others that I don't do, I could always stitch into smalls. And I thought little pillows tucked in around would be very, very cute. Um, I just started like the little star next to the spread joy um, and everything. So that was just me. And I am completely changing. Like if the borders is, is really wide, I would pick a smaller one. <laughs> trying to scoot things up to save as much room as possible. But I'm loving it. So here's the colors I'm using. I am using Weeks Dye Works White Wash, just like I did for Old Fashioned. I am using 321, which I see I need to reload 321. I, I used all of it. It's the darker red. That's one of the colors that I swapped out in the Old Fashioned Sal. Um, and I'm using 905 and 907 greens. And then I am going to use... Um, 3828 I think maybe 869 for anything brown I think the tree and then the reindeer which I may not even get to stitch so it's a very simple color palette I really simplified it but I love it it matches my decor it really pops and I have to say that little present isn't it cute anyway so I worked on this these are my two big my two big things I'd like to finish to enjoy so hopefully, hopefully, hope's not a strategy, intention, be intentional. I'm going to work on those. All right, let's see where we're at next. Oh, and I, I guess I could show you my little planner spread I made for it. I'll show you all this, and of course it'll be coming in the video. So here's my little planner spread. Yes, I stickered it all up because I love looking at cute things. You do not have to be this extra. But this was me. I, I broke it down into plans and the believe may not may not fit. So that's okay. Doodlebug stickers. Had fun. Just making little sheets that can be moved from my whip section to my finish section. Let me see what's next. Let's do a little bit of haul. So I did pick up a few patterns this week, plus some of the clubs I am in. So the designer mystery block of the month came. Um, I did mention in my Friday card making live, I'm taking the next couple weeks off um, from lives and things. I will have floss tube and and whatever, but I am I've already pre uh, worked and recorded quite a few videos for work. Um, and so I'm taking that time to sew. So I'm going to have a bunch of these. I'm going to get caught up on this. I'm going to get caught up on my other sewing projects that I have going on. So that came. My February month to month from Stitching with the Housewives came. You can't really see the pattern very good. Cute little barn. I have to say these are not, this one's not my favorite. It's cute. I don't know why I don't love it. I love Valentine's projects, but I don't know if I'll stitch that one. I'll just be honest. I don't know if I will. We'll see. Um, that quarter shop has a sale. I believe it's all month long on Primrose Cottage Patterns. I think it's 30% off. I will drop a link down below. I shopped. So I got the Christmas Alphabet. This is one of the new charts. charts by Primrose Cottage. This is from Lindsay and I think that would be a really quick stitch. I love love the borders and how they're a little bit different. So cute. I also bought the snow the other new one she had. I think it was the Snowman Kisses. 
Is that right? They sent me the wrong pattern. <laughs> so they're sending me the right one. It just isn't here yet. So I'll show it next week. But the one they sent me, I'm just going to offer as a giveaway today. Anyway, so did I say I was doing giveaways or not? I am doing a few giveaways today. I just have some outstanding ones. So I got that one. Really cute. It's not going to get stitched this year. That's just going to go in my stash. Um, I also bought Mary and Bright. They were all 30%. This will be super fast. Maybe I might try to stitch that one, though. Um... And then I bought Let It Snow. And again, these are going to both be super quick and easy. Bought them on sale. Love it. And then I bought some preparing for Valentine's stitching. I got both of these. I love these little stitches because I think they're super, super cute. They're very fast. February 14th and Sweetheart. So I bought both of those. So... That is that. Um, what else did I get? I bought a couple of new patterns. Oh, I, here's the pattern that they sent me that I did not get. And I do love it. I considered keeping it, but I don't think I'm going to. So I'm going to offer this as a giveaway today. So that's the one they accidentally sent me. I did buy from Salt and Pepper Stitching. This will be a January stitch. I love this. I'm betting there's going to be a snow globe for every month, which I dig. How cute is this guy? So yeah, that's going to be one of my 12 by 12 stitches. And then Valentine's themed. I loved this. I love, I love the love, uh, the lovely flowers. I thought this was so pretty. So I bought this one and I will link to both of those in her Etsy shop down below. The other thing is Fat Quarter Shop sent me their Stitch Quarterly. So thank you so much, Fat Quarter Shop. It comes in this darling, darling bag. I will tell you I'm not giving this away today. Um, I don't know if I'm going to or not. I don't know that I'm going to stitch it, but there's some stuff in here that I'm going to keep. So thank you, Fat Quarter Shop. I am going to show you what you get. So the pattern, which they have Santa, and I obviously they don't have the kit anymore, I don't believe, but um, because it was a stitch quarterly last year, if I'm not mistaken, but they have Santa. Well, they have Lady Claws. How cute. And look at this fabric. I don't know if you can see. It's got, oh, there you go, a little bit. Minty Green Opalescent. Oh, you guys, it's so pretty. So, so pretty. So this is a 14-count Ada, Ada by Zweigart. Um, very, very cute. That might be offered as a giveaway at some point. You also, oh shoot, sorry, sorry, Odin. Look at the needle minder. Oh, <coughs> excuse me. Sorry. And my water's out. So you got the needle minder in the stitch quarterly, the floss, the DMC to stitch the project. So nice. And you get a John James needle in there as well. I mean, you literally get everything you need. Uh, Stitch Quarterly comes out four times a year, if I'm not mistaken. And it is awesome. Such a great value. Uh, you get the bag. And then you get Lori Holt's Unstitcher. And this is so silly, but this is what I wanted out of that bag. I want this. So um, I love the kit. I just don't know if it's something I will stitch. Anyway, thank you, Fat Quarter Shop, for sending this and letting me share it with my viewers. And I am pretty sure this will be, at least part of it, will be a giveaway at some point. So thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. Let's talk about... I'm going to do Happy Mail, and then I'm going to talk about my stitching plans for Christmas, for this week and for Christmas. Then we'll do giveaways. All right, so I went to the post office. I have everything up until yesterday. So if you've sent something, I have not got it yet. Uh, Lisa, it was a package and I was like, what is in here? You guys, I 
literally, I bought some of these other ornaments. So she sent this to me. First of all, she made me this darling tag, wrote me a sweet little message on the back, but she sent me this. You guys, this is going straight on my gingerbread tree. How cute. I have some other ornaments uh, from this. It's um, Holly Adler. I don't know, but I love these. Look how cute. I absolutely adore it. Lisa, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I couldn't believe it because it completely matches my whole vibe. So thank you so, so much. Um, and again, I'm going to share some of this stuff. It may not be from Stitchers, but I want just thought I'd share anyway. This card is from Donna. Donna was asking if I had got anything. Um, Donna sent me the most wonderful present. Stamps. Donna, you are amazing. I have to show you um, Donna's card. You guys, it is so cute. I literally did this <laughs> nonstop. Donna, thank you for the wonderful, wonderful gift. Thank you for the stamps. So appreciated. And it definitely will help. You are so kind to think of me and thank you for this card. Just so you guys know, all these are going to be hanging uh, from the little, I have little hooks on my mantle, um, a little garland, because I love, I love Christmas cards from everybody. So I know I was saying that I've been really bad about sending cards out, but literally nothing makes me happier than Christmas cards. Um, so a viewer, uh, Jen sent me some charts that she wanted to share that she ended up with a couple of, hold on, I'm going to pull her sticky note off. Give me one second. So she ended up with two of these. These are both going to be giveaways today. They're amazing. So first up, we have Primrose Cottage Christmas Barn, which I believe they just did a stitch along. So this is amazing. It's the paper pattern. Their paper patterns are in color. They're fantastic. I know a lot of times I'll like choose the PDF because it'll be in color. Uh, Primrose, their paper charts, and they're printed on nice paper. So the other one is from Little House Needleworks. It is Grandpa's Pickup farm, from the Farmhouse Christmas. Super, super cute. I love Little House Needleworks. So uh, thank you so much, Jen, for sending these. Those will be part of my giveaway today. Okay, I think the rest are cards. So I got this beautiful, beautiful card from Linda. Thank you so much, Linda. I have a lot. So, um, you know what I didn't tell you guys? Timestamps are below. If you don't care about the happy mail, you can skip on by. <laughs> this is from um, Patty. Beautiful, all the way from Germany. Thank you so much. You guys, I know this is one of my Patreon members, so I don't know if she'll even see this in the floss tube video. I did a card um, very similar to this in a Halloween theme during a Patreon live, and she did this in Christmas. This is Laura, and is this is not the most amazing scene. I love it. Love it, love it. I have to find out where she got the little houses and the sleigh because I, I'm i just dying. I want to move in here. Isn't that cute? Laura, thank you. i just completely dying over the cards. This is from uh, Madeline. Happy Llama Days. Is that not cute? Absolutely darling. I think this is from Megan. It is. This is from Megan. Look at that. I love the little die cut scene and that car. Absolutely adorable. Thank you, Megan. This is from Debbie. Just beautiful and elegant. Absolutely love that. Thank you so much, Debbie. 
this is amazing. This is from Dixie, and I know this is um, was one of the classes from the Hero Arts. Uh, what did we call it? It wasn't the Christmas holiday stitch along. Anyway, uh, the ornament moves. Super, super cute. This was from one of the classes. Dixie, thank you. Absolutely gorgeous. Not my class, by the way, <laughs> but I, I love it. Um, this is a gorgeous card from Sharon. I mean, look at this. I love white and gold, and this is stunning. Five by seven card, absolutely gorgeous. Sharon, thank you. Okay, um, I got a note from Jean. Jean, I think, won a prize. Is that right, Jean? Yes, she got Ada from me, and she sent me a little thank you card. Thank you so much, Jean. I'm so excited. She said she's going to try her hand at dyeing it herself, so I cannot wait. Um, and I know this is more of paper crafting. This is from Megan, but I think Megan has dove back into cross-stitch, but she sent me this darling card. Oh, I love it, love it. So thank you, thank you, thank you, Megan. All right, you guys, I think that that is it. I kind of tried to speed through the, the mail. So much mail, but it's that time of year. I love, thank you for sending it. You are not required at all. Please do keep that in mind, but it, I do love it. Okay, so this week I have my two stitches I'm going to work on. I am going to talk about what my Christmas Day start will be. And the other, I'm going to have another new start this week because I want to get it going. So I will start the December month to month because it's probably my favorite. I've talked about this, October, December, and then the January one, which will be a January. That'll probably be a 12 by 12 start, um, are my favorite so far. So I want to start this. I want to get going on it. I'm going to stitch it on 25 count antique white Lugana. I've already decided the 25 count antique white is what I'm going to stitch all of them on because I'm going to do something interchangeable with them and that is kind of my happy place. So this will be a new start this week. Let me know if you're stitching it or have stitched it or maybe you want to start too. And then my, I know I have floss for this but I just wonder where I put it. I don't have it yet. Oh, I have so many that I want to start. There's so many in here. Okay, it doesn't matter. This is going to be my Christmas Day start. Now, what's funny is I saw this and I bought it, and then Chantal stitched it, and then my friend Wanda stitched it, or is stitching it. I don't know if Wanda's done yet, but she keeps sharing her progress. But Chantal finished. Cup of Christmas Cheer by Brenda Gervais. I'm starting this. I want to get this guy stitched up so, so badly. Um, he's up. The plastic's terrible. This is cute. I did buy it right from uh, Brenda's website. But those two ladies completely inspired me. Look at that. It is, I'm going to use the called for. There is some DMC, Weeks Dye Works, some Gentle Arts. Oh, there's all kinds of things. I don't know what I'm going to stitch it on yet. Let's see what this was stitched on. This was on 36 count linen. We'll see. I might. I might try. I have some. How cute is that? I love, love, love it. Okay, so that is um, my going to be my Christmas Day start. I already decided. I have so many that I want to start, but... I'm going to make pages for my planner of these two. So I should talk about my planner. That's what we're going to talk about next before we do giveaways. I wanted to talk really quick to not overwhelm myself. I did have to kind of do a little extra work to get things organized to get started. But I am being gentle. I'm going to work on it as as I come to it. Um, I'm going to try to do a few pages of or whips to add to it. Like I'm going to go through my whips buckets and I am going to make pages for my whips to put in my planner in the sections they go in. 
um, each week. I'm thinking three to four. Or and if I do a new start, I will do a planner page for it so I can put it in my planner. So anything new will get added. Um, at this point, I'm not going to do like charts I buy. It's going to be if I've, if I've started it or I, I also think probably if I've kitted it up to start it, I will add it in here because I have a lot of Christmas and a lot of Halloween that I kitted up and I just didn't get to start. So I do want to show you my planner again. I know I showed it last week. Um, I've improved a couple of things since then. I am using the Happy Planner system. I like the Happy Planner. Um, I, I think I mentioned this last week. I wasn't on board because I thought I didn't like the disc system, but it is... I've grown to love it because you can move things around, which is important to me in my planner. I did buy the expander discs. These are bigger than the regular discs. I don't think I have regular ones close um, because I have a lot in here and I didn't want to move stuff out. A lot of times planners will like put, only put half the year in there. I decide I don't want to do that. This is my sewing and or my cross stitch and, and quilting planner. I put the nicer covers on. I did buy these like during their Black Friday sale. I am using the sewing planner. You don't have to do that. Uh, um, I will add those in the description if you're interested. This is the sewing planner exclusive to Joann's. So it is Happy Planner. It's not available on their website. You have to get it at Joann's. You can get it on joanns.com. I have links to it down below. I've heard from several of you who went out and got it, which is exciting. Um, I did just put my December in here. So I'm gonna show you my December spread for last week where I wrote down stuff I was doing or stuff I needed to do and I'm checking stuff off. I still have some stuff I need to fill in over here, but it's just stickery because stickers make me happy. I like decorative things. I find that if I have something cute and pretty to look at, I'm more more likely to use it. Um, I will be sharing my spread for this week. I don't have it finished, so I'm not gonna show it right now. Um, and obviously I just have a little of December in here and then we'll start with January. I will be sharing what I'll do for the monthly type thing. Kind of like what I, when I would show you um, my plan for when I printed out the calendar from Fat Quarter Shop. I think it'll be something like that, but just decorative. So let me go, um, I wanted to show. Well, I made some tabs. See cross stitch and quilting. So let's just go to cross stitch. And I will show you, I made it out of acetate. I made it myself. I used a punch board from We Are Memory Keepers. I will show you that in the video. So it's an acetate divider. So it's strong. I used the Happy Planner punch to punch it, to put it in here. I stamped it with some uh, alphabet stamps and some other stamps from my friend Carrie Bradford. She has amazing stamps. I stamped with Stazon ink on the acetate. My card makers, you all know what I'm talking about. I'll share it in the video. Uh, but I just made my own divider. And then there's going to be sections. So that just makes it easy. I also use my label maker to make some labels. I'll talk about all of that in the video. This is my Christmas whips. Obviously, this is just a piece of filler paper. You could also make your own, uh, cut it to happy planner size and punch it and put it in. You, do, you could print it out. You don't have, in fact, you could do everything printables um, and update it that way, print it out and pop it in your planner. I used a typewriter, I went old school, because a lot of the pages I'm decorating, not my whip pages, but as I'm adding my whips to this, so I have a lot more I need to add. I can do front and back, but as I finish, I can check them off. But back behind this, then I will have the whips that I'm currently working on. So in this case, this is the one I made for Primrose Cottage, and I can I have check boxes here, I can check, I kind of divvied it out into parts that I want to, to stitch and as I stitch I can check it off. I need to stitch off the Christmas or stitch off check off the Christmas rules I've done that. Um, I'm going to show you this but I have a whole video. I have half the year done. This is going to be my stitching with the housewives and I have them in all themes. Um, they're all very very similar. Really cute. I forgot to do the check boxes on this one I see but this sticker that you can buy the stickers from Fat Quarter Shop for the month to month series. I just found things that matched. I gotta tell you guys, I was pretty pumped when I found this tree in a Happy Planner sticker tree, truck and tree in a Happy Planner sticker book because it literally is the cutest thing ever. Anyway, so that's how I'm kind of doing my pages. There will be way more information in the video tutorial. I showed this one last week. 
It's my Stitching with the Housewives Baking Spirits Bright. I've checked off what I've done on that. This is my Cherry Hill Stitchery. Um, I need to finish my snowman so I can check him off. But I just have it in sections. Um, this will be one of my 12 by 12 starts, the Country Cottage Needleworks Big City Christmas. I already went ahead and typed all the sections out in the month that the charts came come. I aren't, only have November so far. Um, at the bottom, I always put the floss or the fabric and the floss I'm using. If I make changes, I can do that. You can hand write it into. I was very extra with this, but I also knew kind of what I wanted from my attempt to try last year and what didn't work for me. I'm loving this. I, I like having it. And then I can always, there's plenty of room to make notes. I can make notes on the back of the page. But the reason I'm doing it this way is because when this is not a whip anymore, let me show you, but let me only grab one page, okay? You can do this. And then you can stick it in your finishes section. I don't have a finishes tab yet, but I'm going to make one um, and share that, but it goes in your finish section. So I can easily move things around, which I'm really, really excited about. So that was, I think those are the only ones I've done for my Christmas section. And as I add a page, I make sure and add it to my master list at the beginning. I, I just kind of like the idea of an ongoing list. Yes, can you do this on the computer? Absolutely. Um, this is just what I decided to do. So I have my fall whips section. Again, it's not, I didn't decorate this one, but I will show you what I have in here so far. I mean, I think I only have my Stitching with the Housewives pages because I did all of those. There are a separate video I wanted to share with you guys. Anyway, so for next week, I will have my 12 by 12 section. Um, if it's whips, great. If it's new starts, I will make pages. I'm going to have all of those in a section for that, plus my new starts for this week. I already have one of them, but the other, the Brenda Gervais, uh, Gervais chart, I will have that uh, page for that one, for that whip start. I will have one for my, um, all the 12 by 12, the New Year's Day start, and I'll add them to here, and then I will have them in a section. And then... When I want to do a whip parade, like a finished whip parade, or even just a whip whip parade, my goal is to eventually have all of my whips in here, and it won't be so much back, back planning, I guess. But keeping track of what I'm doing weekly, making notes. If I do classes, I did do the jingle ball, and I did, but I didn't participate in any of the rooms. I ended up being super busy and wasn't able to. I did buy a couple of charts um, from Hands On Design. I forgot to add those. <laughs> to my uh, hall a couple weeks ago. But if I go to retreat, if I do an online thing like the Jingle Ball, I want to, first of all, participate. And second of all, I want to um, add it to my weekly plans. It's really fun. It's almost a record looking back of what you're doing. Now, I want to you get, can't talk, one of those little photo printers that you can print out like the little sticker sized planner sized stickers that I could add in sometimes. I mean, I'm not saying I want to do it all the time. Does anyone have one? Have any suggestions for me? Can you let me know in the chat or in the comments chat in the comments? I would love to know. So that is my plan. Please, I will link to the planning video where it shows my cross stitch planner set up. And then I will be periodically sharing videos of that on my planner channel. And you can check that out if you're interested. If not, no big deal. Okay. I want to talk about giveaways. I'm going to talk about the gift. I didn't do giveaways last week, so I don't have any new winners, but I have some outstanding. Remember you have, and I misspoke last week. Somebody pointed out to me. Thank you. You have until December 31st, 2022 to contact me or I will choose new winners for that first floss tube of January. Okay. Um, and like I said, I had a lot of you contact me. I mailed everything out yesterday on the 17th that I've anyone I've heard from, except I had one and I don't have it written down. She contacted me, but didn't give me her address. It was for the 18 count Ada. So if that was you, can you please email me your address if you haven't already? I will double check. So um, the giveaways that are outstanding, I'm going to start oldest to newest. 
the Shannon Christine old fashioned paper chart. Sandy still has Sandy Newman has not contacted me. Sandy, please, uh, please message me. I'm going to try to message you because I do know you. Uh, I need to do that today um, to see if you still want it. If you don't, that's fine. Just let me know so I can pass it on to someone else. Floss tube 24, the rotating cutting mat, the big one. I have it and love it. Patrice Dodd. Patrice, if that is you, can you please um, email me your mailing address so I can mail that out. The So Scrappy Spools pattern from Lori Holt. That goes to Kelly Horn. Kelly, please message me your mailing address. And then the Jolly Box is still unclaimed. Kathleen Shortell. So Kathleen, please let me know so I can get that mailed out to you. Then from Floss Tube 25, that was two Floss Tubes ago, the Prairie Schooler 2020 Santa, 2020 Santa, Marcy Farrell. Uh, Marcy, please let me know your mailing address. And then the Fat Quarter Shop Fall is in the Air Stitch Quarterly Pattern Only, not the whole kit like I showed you of the Christmas one. No, Noemi Barraza, that goes to you. So message me your mailing address. My email is down below. Um, and I do want to kind of address this. I had some winners messaging me through Instagram or my other email. Please use the email down below. That is, that is going to be the best way to get your prize. I wish I had time to go looking everywhere. I just don't. I put my address down below for a reason. I mention every single floss tube that to please email me at the address down below. So please, please message me there. I super appreciate it. Thank you. Um, this week, so the question I want you to answer, what should it be? I know. Are you going to do a new Christmas day start? Let me know in the comments. I know some of you might have littles that might not be something you even want to do, but maybe when the day is done and they have obviously been up all day, maybe you want to uh, sit in the evening and just put a few stitches in something new just for you. Let me know. Um, let me know if you're, you know, what your, your plans are if you're not going to stitch, but if you're going to have a new stitch on Christmas day, let me know and let me know what it is. I love to hear what everybody is interested in and interested in stitching. So I'm going to do three giveaways this week. Um, and I will announce these on Christmas Day, so it'll be kind of nice. Uh, num and keep in mind, you can put the numbers that you're interested interested in down below. I That's another thing I want to talk about. I would suggest, because I have to go look at my comments that get flagged and don't get posted, don't put hashtags. Hashtags tend to trigger the flagging. So, And I don't think the comments get populated in, to be considered. Just put the number. Don't write out the name of the number. I've done this easy because I don't want things to get misspelled and not get picked because I use a random number generator, a random comment picker, and you put in what the criteria is. So I'll put the number one and how many winners there are for that if there's like two um, or if there's just one. And it literally, whatever the random number generator populates is what I use. So you can go for all of them, but don't type all. Put one, two, or three. Um, and that goes for any video. You must be a U.S. resident. Um, please like the video. Please subscribe. I do not make it uh, criteria, but I would really appreciate it. I have some very, very fun plans for when I reach 100,000 subscribers. And so I would appreciate if you would subscribe. That does let you know when I have a new video. If you click the notification bell, that lets you know that I have a new video for you. Um, you don't have to watch all of them. I do have timestamps down below, so it makes it easy to, to watch what you're interested in. I also link to the things I talk about. If I miss something, definitely let me know, but please check the description because I, I try to be thorough and like link the fabric or patterns I show and things like that. Okay, that being said, number one this week is going to be Little House Needleworks Grandpa's Pickup. If you're interested in this, put a number one down in your comment. Number two is Primrose Cottage Christmas Barn. If you would like to receive this cutie pie pattern, put number two in the comments. And number three is Primrose Cottage Christmas Tree Farm. So one, two, or three, or you can put one, two, and three, or just the one you're one or ones you're interested in. 
uh, answer the question if you're going to do a Christmas Day new start. Um, I hope everyone is enjoying the holiday season. I hope you take some time for you this week in the crazy and hustle bustle of this week because I know it is crazy and nuts. Uh, even if it's just a few stitches, just just something just for you or, or at the sewing machine for 20 or 30 minutes if you can. Maybe prep something one evening in a, in a let's say 15 to 30 minute time frame if you have a little bit cut out some fabric and then you can sew it the next day or or just put a few stitches maybe you know 25 to 50 stitches in something because eventually it will get done and it does feel good to at least take a few minutes uh, during the crazy season to do something just for you um i guess that's it you guys this is probably longer than i thought it was going to be I have lots of videos for you. Stay tuned for the tree tutorial uh, coming tomorrow. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, you may even still have time to make some. <laughs> uh, I think they would be cute uh, for winter as well, though. Maybe to incorporate into winter decor. Wouldn't have to necessarily just be Christmas, depending on how you decorate them. So I hope you guys have a wonderful week. I will see you. I'm, And I'll wish you Merry Christmas in the next floss tube. But until then... Um, have a great week, stitch some things, fill your heart with joy, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel, click that like button, and don't forget to hit the notification bell to always be notified when I have a new floss tube stitching or quilting video. Thank you guys so much for joining me today, and we'll see you next time.